up guys welcome to moving minds with money now today's topic is an interesting one we're going to be comparing affiliate marketing to drop shipping we're going to be analyzing what is the better option for you now these are both business models that i'm a partner have tried out and uh, we've seen some gain with both but i prefer one over the, over the other um before we start, like, share, comment, and subscribe as per usual, guys. The more support we can get, the better. The more we can support each other in this online money-making journey, the better, right? Let's let's dive into this video. So, affiliate marketing and dropshipping, two very uh, different business models. Short recap, remember affiliate marketing, you're basically an online salesman. You act as an affiliate, you have online merchants on a network, and you then promote products for that merchant and then based on what type of affiliate marketing it is is it pay-per-click is it pay-per-lead or is it pay-per-sale you get paid commission for every deed that you make for every sale that you make but most often most commonly these days it's, it's pay-per-sale so you get your commission based on the amount of sales you have right and they use a unique URL to track your uh, sale right and it's as simple as that drop shipping uh, that we talked about the other day Drop shipping involves basically you are a middleman, right? So essentially, let's say I've used the t-shirt example. Let's say you advertise tees on your website. So the first thing that you do is you go over to alibaba.com. You look at the t-shirt prices. You mark up the price slightly. You put it on your website. Then a customer comes along. He sees that t-shirt on your website. He purchases that t-shirt. You go over to alibaba.com. Purchase the t-shirt and it's directly delivered to the customer. So there's no stock of that t-shirt kept on your website, right? That is the essential principle of dropshipping. So if we look in terms of startup capital, we're just going to do a quick comparison here. Startup capital, both relatively low to no startup capital needed. Remember that you do not keep stock in dropshipping and affiliate marketing. Many marketplaces are free. Many not, uh, networks are free to join. Uh, Clickbank, for example, is a very popular one. Free to join. Right, so the startup capital that you need is, is, is very, very low. I would say you need only need to obviously invest in a PC with internet connection um, if you are to, you know, I indulge in, in, in this arena. Profit margins. Now, profit margins is something that varies considerably, especially with affiliate marketing. You can have products that have a 10% profit margin or you can have a 40% profit margin. It varies. Same with dropshipping. You can make between 10, 10 and 60% profit margin. So it varies. It depends on the type of products, the demand, the supply, whatever you want to call it, right? Then, um, as we can see here, with affiliate marketing, what is what is this? Is there space? What is the demand for affiliate marketing? It, it, the demand varies, right? Certain products, you know, there's still there's still an opening for you to go for. They still they still need affiliates. They still need sales then the demand is high but with certain products um the arena is is, is is extremely saturated right so it's very hard for you then to go and promote that product and, and get a sale because literally everyone's promoting that same product so that's why it's saturated uh drop shipping um also very low demand drop shipping is actually the the only problem i have with drop, drop shipping right is is the logistical headache that it causes because let's say if you go back to the t-shirt example for uh for example uh, let's say that you go through the whole process of, of, of getting the t-shirt delivered to the customer and, you know, the parcel is lost or the ship is delayed and then the customer gets upset because you're not delivering on time. That is the only drawback. It's, it's a bit of a logistical headache. And uh, lastly, if we look at execution, how easy is it to do? Affiliate marketing, extremely easy. You can go to ClickBank now, you can create a profile, you can start promoting easy. Um, with drop shipping, like I said, with the logistical headache, it is a bit more difficult. Um, by the way, if you guys want uh, another easy way or another convenient way of making money online, there is a great site called RapWriteAppReviews.com, and they are paying people today to test out their apps on your mobile phone in the comfort of your own own home. If you do not believe me? Go and check it out. Go and sign up. Give it a try. And guys, who doesn't want to earn money from their home? How how convenient can it get that link is down below should you be interested in that but um yeah guys so all in all my personal choice between these two is affiliate marketing simply for the reason that it's execution is something that anyone can learn to do it's something that there's no real logistical headaches to go around you have no parcels getting lost you have no um 
you know, customers getting mad at you because you're not, not delivering on time. So my, my recommendation would be go for affiliate marketing, build some experience in affiliate marketing, and then go over and try a little bit of drop shipping, drop servicing, right? Thank you so much for tuning in. Like, share, comment, and subscribe for more money-making content, and we'll see you in the next one.